Despite being hindered by an unexpected speed bump, the national race to vaccinate rolls on. A little sting now. In just the first week of rollout, a major error. Two elderly residents at an aged care home in Brisbane were given four times the recommended dose of the COVID vaccine. Today, the delivery of the Pfizer jabs slowed, but the fallout from the bungle was swift. I'm advised that uh, the CEO is being stood aside. Healthcare Australia initially told the government the doctor who wrongly administered the jabs had completed the necessary training, but after the Commonwealth demanded visual proof, the company admitted that wasn't true. The thing that particularly upset us was the combination of somebody who was brought on untrained and then the uh, clearly false information. In response, the company's CEO has stood down and its senior ranks will be bolstered. The government has also put Healthcare Australia on notice, threatening to terminate its contract if it reports another serious breach. Frankly, we've thrown the book at them. The Queensland Premier is concerned the mistake will undermine public confidence, again demanding a meeting with the Prime Minister. I just believe a National Cabinet would iron out communication issues and just to give us some oversight about who is doing what. The Pfizer jab is different from most vaccines that are administered in Australia in that it comes in multi-dose vials. Each vial contains enough to vaccinate up to six people. And while that means it can be rolled out quickly, it does come with greater risk. Wherever you have a multi-dose vial, it increases a chance that the wrong amount could be administered to the patient. Registered nurse Anne-Marie Scully completed the vaccine training yesterday and says it's a comprehensive explainer in how to give the vaccine safely. If you do the course, it doesn't mean there's no room for error, but it means that the risk to the client is lessened. Amid the wider fallout, some relief. The two Brisbane residents who received the incorrect dose so far appear unaffected. The 94-year-old woman today returned to the nursing home while the 88-year-old man remains in hospital for an unrelated medical procedure. Ashley Stevenson, ABC News, Brisbane.